Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will see how to complete this extra activity 2 for statistics 2. So before I start uh, this uh, video, uh, let me show you this uh, statistics 2 week uh, 0 part 2 here you will see this uh, probability in python in this sir has already explained the end user has already explained how to complete this activity he has also explained some examples on how to deal these things in python so you can check this video so apart from this there is also in the supplementary content you will find this google collab file is there if you click on this so it will give you this uh, notebook that has been shared by iit madras so you can basically uh, this is a, a code for uh, this python you can see this is a google collab notebook that is opening so this is the code that uh, uh, you are you will get these these codes are these codes are not important for exams because this is just a, a glimpse on how our future is going to look like so uh, right now if you see if i click on any of the code it is not i, I don't think it is it will work run anyway uh, let me see just if i run i'm just trying to run this code i'm just waiting for this okay so it it shows error over here okay so why it is showing error is whenever you load a code in your pc what you can you have to do is this runtime run all once you run all the codes then only this uh, these codes will run okay Okay, let's calculate the result for this. Now we will see. Okay, the result is get, getting calculated. The result is getting calculated now. Okay, so this was a small thing that I wanted to mention before starting the video. Okay, let me put that aside. So what we very first thing we have to do is we have to make a copy of this one. So just from here you make a copy like this. Just uh, put a copy, and we'll create a copy. So here is a copy of the copy of statistics two. So uh, we are not concerned for this thing. This thing we will make our own notebook and we'll use that notebook uh, to complete our extra activity too. So what is this extra activity? Let's see first. This is the extra activity. So here it is uh, the activity requires you to uh, work on the Python notebook. So basically this is the same thing they have explained that go and check the week zero content the sir has mentioned over there manipulate my python book select an experiment from various examples and you can perform a monte carlo simulation on that uh, experiment so in the video also sir has sent, uh, said that clearly mentioned that for this activity you can use the course that are uh, available in this uh, uh, this uh, notebook only so from here only you can pick the course or you you can use some like other tool if you are expert enough to make your own course you can make your own course so whichever way you just you can complete this activity there is no restriction on that so so now this is an overview on how things are gonna work so now i will uh, share with you how i have done my uh, activity so for, for here now i will click on google site So this is the site that I have made. Basically, this I made this site on my previous Gmail ID, but I later on I migrated it to this student mail ID. So here in this statistic two, I created a subfolder of this extra activity. Here I explained that like uh, for this experiment, I the motivation for me to take this uh, example was the this code was available over here for the this uh, toss of a coin head and tail. From here only I uh, like uh, just change the here the examples were taken like 10 times uh, one time toss was taken 10 time toss was taken 100 time toss was uh, taken so i just changed the value i took like uh, say this 10 times toss 50 time toss and 100 time toss and uh, i calculated the probability of get getting exactly 5 hairs in 10 tosses 25 hairs in 50 tosses and 50 hairs in 100 tosses okay so this is the uh, probability that I have calculated this is a theoretical probability that I got using the formulas okay so now I have to verify this result and now I have to verify this this probability using this Monte Carlo simulation okay so uh, for this simulation what uh, are we going to do is 
so these are the course that uh, uh, from like uh, uh, just uh, i will explain you how to start it you will just create a this open this google collab this is a this go over here uh, here it is you will find this new notebook you just create a new notebook click on it okay so this is open make sure this uh, thing is available on your student mail id only so after you are done with this so just remove this so this is your this is what the uh, this entire thing is going to look like it is going to be a completely empty so if you want to suppose say like put a heading over here like uh, i have used this heading this extra activity to then toss a coin so uh, how you're going to do is you're going to start with this hash extra activity two and it will so you are heading over here then again for next you will just uh, like i have written over here so you would the heading again you will start with hash just i want to copy this one so that i can explain you and again i will just put it over here so it is going to look like this now that i have done with my text part now I, this is the code that i want to put so what i will do is i will click on the, this cell is over here okay sorry i need this code over here so i will uh, put the click on the code and okay these codes i will upload on my blog so from there you can simply copy these codes you don't need to invest more time finding these codes so this is a code okay right now let me run this code right now okay so this is the code that that will give you this uh, result of this uh, sequence of uh, it will give you a randomly some uh, number of hairs and number of tails it, it is a completely random thing and again the same thing you will do for this monte carlo simulation okay this is a this, this uh, python code on the upper side it is giving you this random sequence okay of number of hairs and tails Th this is basically in the, the the copy that was given over here this is the same thing that i have done over here the code over here is giving us the same thing so and again for the monte carlo simulations you, you this is the code that i will provide on my blog you can simply copy from there and you can see that once you run the code you will get these type of results okay so this is the theoretical probability this is 0 0.2461 you can see my site the theoretical probability it is 0 0.2461 okay and you see the monte carlo probability it is 0 0.24 six zero okay so it is over here two point uh, zero point two four six one and there it was zero point so it is almost close only so you can see both the result both the probabilities are almost close to each other so i will provide this code code so you can simply just copy it from, from there and you can paste it these things are not important for exam so maybe after after we learn python in diploma maybe we are introduced to these things and we will understand so this is the code so for the python part this much is done now for the this uh, activity part so you can give a summary like this of how what you are going to do and what is your experiment related to and this is basically this thing is html you will have to uh, put html code over here and again at the end you will uh, put a this uh, conclusion part okay so let me show you so this is the html that i was talking you cannot just put this formula like this you for if you want to uh, insert this formula so what you will what are you going to do is here you can see this embed for option is there so here either you can embed a url or you if you want you can embed a code code also so here you will have to put this html code this is the html code that i have used this is the html code that i have used so uh, in this code this is basically heading and body is there from there this the formula starts from here so i will provide this code also on my blog I mean, the you can simply copy you can copy from there but i will suggest you to just use some different uh, values suppose i have taken 10 uh, toss, tosses 50 tosses 100 tosses for from your side you can take 5 toss uh, say 25 toss and then uh, say 50 toss some different values there can be a lot of values that possibilities are there so just uh, check for for different values your probability over here and when you are done with this part this your theoretical probability is completed over here this monte carlo simulation you will just add a this uh, link of this file to over here and 
this is your activity will get complete okay so uh, let me show you how to link this so uh, here you will click on, click on the share button okay here you will share initially it will be on restricted but you will give this uh, iitm uh, viewership you will allow this one and here you will just give this viewer viewer role don't give this uh, editor role or commenter role just viewer role is okay more than enough just give it and from here only sorry now uh, copy this link also copy this link now i will hyperlink this link okay so uh I will hyperlink this so uh, suppose here please click here to view this monte carlo simulation so here i want to hyperlink this click here okay so i'm so like explaining you how to hyperlink Maybe many of the students don't even know how to hyperlink things in this google site so you click on this okay you highlight this part because you want to someone to click on this so that he, and after that they are navigated to that google collab site okay so here you will see this uh, lock sign is over here this enter insert link you will click on this and here it is like a and by default it will show you these things these are basically the pages that are in your website only so it is a interlinking that is happening but uh, we don't want this we want uh, some external link so we'll just place the link of our google, google collab and we'll just click, click on apply okay so now you, you see what happens is so we have now uh, we have hyperlinked our uh, site with this uh, word now if we, if i click on this word it will take me to this google collab okay so it is opening over here so you can either do this or you can simply uh, just paste the link over here or you can simply just put a link over here like this okay and to this link also you will have to hyperlink uh, this hyperlink and then it will uh, work like this or there is a simple link uh, embedding link also you can just click the link over here and it see you get, get the link and then you can just insert this also okay so there are multiple uh ways so here so it will open like this okay so you can just customize it a little bit like this okay that's uh, like so small you just you can customize like this and there are multiple options you want to show the image you can just uh, click on it. it will just show you like this or if you want uh, to just uh, show the image you can remove the title and it will give you a link over here okay but this looks good so here some, if someone clicks over this open a new window it will just take you to the other side yeah this google collab site that you have embedded see same thing so there are multiple ways you can link okay multiple ways are there to link it so that is it for this uh, extra activity uh, it is a very simple activity it's a little bit uh, you will have to use like how to like uh, frame e experiments and events these uh, html codes and these python codes i will uh, upload on my blog you can just go through the blog and check uh, uh, these uh, codes and i will and for this uh, experiment i will suggest you to take some different values suppose i have taken 10 tosses 50 tosses 100 tosses from your side you can take some say maybe other some some other values and if you take some other values then you will have to change every single denominations in these values also okay so here this is because the codes available over here are for these 10 50 and 100 only okay, so you will have to change uh, that codes or the codes also this 10 50 and 100 over here here also you will have to go through some changes and in this uh, html coding also you will have to do some modifications over here with the values okay so that so this is it for this extra activity it is a very fun activity you will learn something new so i will suggest you to and i will encourage you to do this and uh, uh, like uh, it's good so if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching